Wait, are we doing a thumbnail first? Hello guys, today, no, we'll do it after. Um, we're doing, telling some ghost stories. We have some to share of our own. And we have um, some that someone sent um, Juggy Ghost. It's not his, it's stuff he got from Wait, Google. Wait, would you ask for scary stories? Yeah, if anyone had any. Oh, cool. So, my first story, I'm told a lot of them, but what that actually happened tonight, which is rare. Wait, you guys tonight? You can't see, but... My cord for my Xbox just randomly like fell off my thing. Like, you know, the cord has the like box thing, the plug, the box thing for it. Um, and it just randomly fell off my shelf I have here. You guys can see the shelf. I was just laying in my bed all of a sudden it fell. That never happened before. I don't, and I don't think it's on the edge. But... Yeah, but it's just something that you could like self, -ex like you could explain. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What? Your story? I just asked you a question. What? I thought that you were telling me. Dude, did you see that? I, I feel like I was a ghost for a second. She didn't see anything I said. <laughs> no, she was you, like... I thought you were saying that you couldn't explain. I didn't know you were asking a question. No, I was saying, like, that doesn't seem like a ghost story. Because that's like, a, you could kind of explain it. I mean, it's rare. A cord fell. Like, Because also in that same shelf where that cord is, I had an angel statue that wasn't the edge. That just randomly fell when I was lying in my bed too one time. At the same time? No, this oh, was a while ago. But it's still weird. Well, but, stories? Any stories? Um... First of all, I learned today. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, so just some backstory. My sister, when she was younger, used to live in a haunted house with my mom. Okay, because it was... Alright, that's another story. But hold on. I was telling a friend. His name's Mike. Shout out to Mike. <laughs> right? Say hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, he, um... I was telling him how we were going to do a video about ghost story. And he said about the ghost. It's an incubus ghost. Mm -hmm. And he, like, has sex with people. And I googled it, and it is. And the incubus ghost is the one that, like, if you watch scary movies, he's, like, pu pulling this. Sorry. Is that too graphic? <laughs> he's, like, pulling the sheets off of people and, like, entering the women and stuff. I don't, I don't have, I guess you don't really have to do that. We don't need visuals. So, it's like a freaking rated R video. But, um, <laughs> anyways, yeah. So, that was just, I don't know where I was going with that, but. So, good. So, your story is from Haunted so, we um, lived in Naugatuck, but it was called Indian Hills, and it was like on Indian burial ground. So there were Indians, obviously, burial ground that were buried underneath there. So they said everything was haunted. So in the in the dining room, there was always like, and I'm not even lying, because you know, I'm not really into ghosts and stuff. So, but this is the God honest truth. There and a lot of people saw it. There was a guy, it was a really tall guy that wore like. A hat with like the circle, you would see him in like a dog, kind of like a Kerry's George hat, like the red, yes, red and exactly. yellow hat. Okay. Yeah, but you, you didn't see the colors because it oh, was a shadow. Yeah, you but, know what I'm saying? But yeah, the same kind of yeah, Kerry's George hat, the same kind of shape. But um, every now and then, like I mean, I saw it. My mom saw it. Like even people, like my, one of my mom's friends saw it. My grandfather, just like random people that would be there every now and then would be like, oh, we felt somebody was looking at us, and mm -hmm. then we looked. And on the wall, we saw a shadow of a tall guy with a dog. I swear to God. Did you ever get a like, bad feeling or anything from me? Oh, I always, I, I, yeah, I always felt like in that room, like you were being watched. Like we had back, back then, you know, music wasn't like cell phones. We didn't yeah. have cell phones, so we had a stereo system that was in our dining room. So whenever we wanted to listen to music, we would go in there. But you would like sit like this and listen to music, Hal, and you always felt like somebody was watching you. A lot of times I'm standing in front of my kitchen sink, I would feel that. Your kitchen sink? Our oh, kitchen, kitchen sink. sink. Yeah. So, yeah. And so. also in that house, my mom told me like she saw a little girl walking down the stairs and she thought oh, it was her other sister. Oh she my told god. Me she saw a woman before. There was one night my mom, this is how you know it's true, my mom screamed in the middle of the night, woke all of us up. Oh, really? She yeah, didn't tell that, you that. that's how we, that was the night with the little girl. And I don't know exactly the whole story, but basically a little girl was walking. My mom said with blonde hair, which my sister Monica has. Mm -hmm. And she, my, my, my mom like called to her or something or said, Monica. And the fucking ghost turned around. And when the ghost turned around, my mom screamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did she say the face looked like? I don't remember. I don't, like I said, I don't know the whole story. We'll have to ask her. But mm -hmm. I remember my mom yelling. Oh, she I mean, didn't tell story. me ghost turned around. She just said like it was wearing the same pajamas as mom. Yeah, like a white nightgown yeah, right. or something. Yeah. Yeah, she Spooky. told me saw a woman. And my mom told me, let's go. I don't think that's true, but like my mom, when my sister and my our oldest brother was little, mm -hmm. they moved. They lived in Maryland for a bit with our other siblings' father. Um, and apparently, like the house was haunted. I think it was. I forget. I think it was David. 
our, our oldest brother, he was like scared of the living room or something. That's another thing my mom told right. me. She also yeah. told me she saw like the ghost of her grandfather like watching the kids in the playroom before and then saw, saw him on the couch like talk to him and he asked for a Coke or whatever. Really? Yeah. yeah that's weird. But I don't know, so Gloria kind of out of frame a little. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so Gloria, let yes. me ask you, do you believe in ghosts or like you don't know or um, like what you I don't know. I mean obviously because I've seen things that are like unexplain unexplanatory, is that the right word? Unexplainable. Right? Unexplainable. Unexplanatory is not even a word. Do um but like I don't believe in it like as I don't know I yeah I guess I guess I do believe not I mean I'm not to the extent like my brother David's huge into mm -hmm. it like I don't know if the whole Ouija board thing is real and all that other stuff but I mean I do believe that people from up there try to contact you I believe it goes to I've heard you in my experiences mm -hmm. I've told you guys some I told you guys how like so um, do you believe in sorry but do you believe in like bad ghosts and yeah, good ghosts demons, yeah but so what makes like so you think that like a like uh, every haunted ha haunted movie, right, mm -hmm. or every scary movie, it's always a family moves into the house and that the people, the ghosts, don't want the family there, so they like harass them. Mm -hmm. So like, what makes somebody a scary ghost or a good ghost? Well, it depends. Like sometimes how they die or just how they are, or how they were in real life. They were like a so, bad person in uh, real life. They'll be a bad. Family. So you mean like you? So you think that like all right, say like here, daddy grew up in this house. Mm -hmm. Has always loved this house. So he passes away, and then somebody else moves in. You think he's gonna calm down and haunt people and be like, "You can't live in my house." Like, no. what? You know, I there's like how I heard how it works. Sometimes, like, you may She's like my best friend. you move into a house, and sometimes you may like get haunted for like down the road. It's like if you change things to the house, that can oh, cause yeah. fear. Because if a spare lived in a house, they might get mad you're changing it. So yeah. Sometimes you may not experience yeah. anything until you start changing things in the house. Right. And like demons are not. Usually demons are like things that are not been alive, you know, because they're from mean? hell. Like these, those are spirits and stuff that are not alive. They never lived on this earth. They're uh, never human. So, so they've cool. just been down in hell, just yeah, waiting. They haunt. Oh. So yeah, that's how it works sometimes, guys. I mean, I know it may be hard to believe unless you never had an experience for yourself. Mm -hmm. But let me know if you believe. Yeah. Um, so we have some ghost stories. Um, Sunday we're gonna be. So we'll go back for three. Um. Happy birthday, dead man. I guess that's what it's called. <laughs> Shortly before a young family was set to move into their new home, the previous mm. tenant passed away. Right after they moved in, their two-year-old began talking about a ghost appearing in several rooms of the house. The parents weren't at all concerned, and thought that because it was around Halloween, the little girl's imagination had got the best of her. One day, as they were leaving the house, their daughter told them the ghost was on their deck. She told them that it was his was his birthday and she wanted to sing him happy birthday. Out of sheer curiosity, the parents looked up the obituary of the man that died in the house and sure enough, it was his birthday. I did heard, <gasps> well, I've heard of this story before. Oh, that's so but freaky. But yeah, kids and animals could sense ghosts more because I forget exactly the reason, but it's because like... They're in a sense, or, yeah. or they're more open to it, I think. Like, a child... I think like first of all, I think scary movies that show kids are the, mm -hmm. are the scariest. But yeah, they say because they're... um. I wouldn't say more vulnerable, but more open. Like, they haven't been, like, scarred from the world or, like, you know what I'm saying? So they believe in things. Like, they believe in Santa. Yeah. They believe in things because they haven't been told otherwise, you know? So, and, I, I you know the story when I was three, how apparently I was talking to Grandpa and Mom got scared because I said Grandpa didn't like her, so she, like, oh, called Grandma. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember yeah. that story. No, yeah, I do remember that story. <laughs> She did. You were what, like three or three, four? Yeah. She like was nothing. three years old, and she dreamt mm -hmm. about her grand or her grandfather on her father's side. No, I was side. sitting on my table and I was playing. Oh, I was, I was is that what it was? Yeah. All, all I remember was going over my mom's house that weekend after it happened, and mom telling us, "Your grand, your sister saw your grand or her grandfather, mm -hmm. and he said he didn't like me." And I'm thinking, so I say, "Poppy," which is her grandfather, and she said, "No, Marty's dad." And I'm like, "Wait, what? He's passed yeah, away." My dad's yeah. Dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. I forgot about that. Right, you want me to read one? Yeah. All right, so this is called The Thing Scarring Little Sis. Ooh. After his family had bought a farm in rural South Africa, a young boy felt like someone was watching him. Weird noises kept him up at night, and he always felt afraid in the house. Things got worse after his grandmother died of cancer. His four-year-old sister started complaining of stomach pain. She then began sleepwalking and doing strange things in the house. 
when the four-year-old was sent away for a weekend, <clears throat> she didn't seem to have any problems. That was enough to convince the parents to bring in a healer to get rid of the evil presence inhabiting the home. The healer said an evil spirit has been placed on the previous owner of the home and it was still coming in. The healer dug a hole in the backyard and put dirt in a plastic bag. The four-year-old stopped complaining of stomach pain and the noises that kept them up at night. Wow. Okay. That's freaky. That's a little spooky spooks. Um, <laughs> Emily, not so nice. A little girl <laughs> age 6 or 7 told her family about an imaginary friend, Emily. Emily had long dark hair. It sounds like the grudge. Oh, and wore right, a yeah. black dress. The little girl's parents started noticing strange behavior in their daughter. She began sitting in the middle of her room, whispering quietly. One day, the little girl began to hiss at her brother and scream at her parents to get out. Eventually, she calmed down, but not before both parents were in tears. It turns out Emily was telling the little girl to do terrible things to herself. Ooh. The family moved out of the home, but the memories of Emily haunt them to this day. I wow. do remember that story, too, hearing it. Huh? I remember hearing that story. Uh -huh. Okay, go on next Another one. one? Which one are we at? Oh, no, it's the same one. Yeah, right there. I Can See You? Yeah. Okay. I Can See You by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Seuss. It does sound like a Dr. Seuss book, though. A group of young teens at a typical slumber party decided to play with a Ouija board. Oh, here we go. At first, it was all in good fun, gibberish and silly words. Then things took a terrifying turn. The board started spelling out sentences about the kids being watched. The board <clears throat> told them that it could see them through his eyes and that he was under a car. When the teens finally got the courage to look under the car, wait, to look under the car, they were stunned to see a large angry black cat staring back at them. If that wasn't scary enough, the power shut off and they ran terrified back mm. into the house. Dr. Seuss books are really I know, crazy. <laughs> yeah, Ouija wow. birds, guys. I've already messed with them. They're mm. not to be messed with. Like, look. Right. Ouija bird messages. <laughs> One night, a mom decided to take out a Ouija board and play it with her two children. Mm -hmm. Oh, remember? That's like a song for my birthday. Remember yeah. that for you, Mom? Well, and then everybody got into it, right? But David didn't. Do Daddy know? never did. Yeah, but, but who the, else was there? That's it. Uh, uh, Get serious and ask the who bird. Who was my boyfriend at the time? It spelled Downstairs. out the name of a close friend of hers who had gone missing a few weeks before. The mother had, was visibly shaking, but continued to ask the boy questions. When she asked where her friend was, the bird responded, in the lake. Her friend's body was found a couple of weeks later. He had been hit by a car while walking on a bridge and had fallen into a small lake. Ooh. Last yeah. one. Okay, heart song. Last one, Celebrating guys. on New Year's Eve, a group of siblings and their friends decided to break out the Ouija board. They contacted a person named Eugene who told them he had contacted them because he was afraid. When the kids asked why the board answered them by spelling out music and at, and, and a bunch of random numbers, someone has had the bright idea to turn on the radio to the numbers spelled out in the song. To everyone's surprise, the heart song, <laughs> Don't Leave Me Stranded, Me neither. Okay. was playing on the station. The board then began spelling out heart, afraid, don't go in church over and over away. Emily. Eventually? No, I know. Event no. Wait. Oh, yeah. Don't go in church over and over again. Eventually, they grew tired and put the board away. The next morning, the sibling's father got a call that his uncle Eugene had had a heart attack. Oh. Had a heart attack this evening before and had to be Damn. revived multiple times. That's freaky. Is that you? Oh, yeah, it's photoshopping. <laughs> Come on. Can you show them that? Mrs. Kelly has a boy. Has a little boy. <laughs> that looks like my brother Peter. Can they see oh, it? Oh, you can kind of see a little oh, bit being Peter. Damn, man. Well, yeah, that's some ghost stories. Again, I believe in ghosts. I've had some experiences in this room. As you guys know, and I used to be playing my game on the bed over here, like breathing behind me. And yeah. it only that should scare me. It Sorry, only happened scary. when I would play like, Minecraft. If I played GTA or anything else, I wouldn't hear it. That's And I've spooky. tried to catch you on camera, I couldn't, but 
Yeah, this house, man. You know what's weird, too? I've tried what? looking up this house, the history, and I can never find anything. Really? So that's creepy, because it's old. My dad grew up here. Yeah, he was in here say. one and a half, and he's 61 now. So you know the house is, like, over, at least probably close to 70, 80 years old, maybe? It's older than that. He um, wasn't the first one to live here. But I'm not saying that. That's why I said 70, 80 No, years it's old. probably, like, 200 years old. No. Yeah. It can't be that old. Yes, it can. It would be about, standing. Yes, it would be. Old. I'm going to go ask right now how old the house is. I'll wait for you to come back. Okay. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Um, Like, let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you want to see us. Um, I'll wait to say it to my sister's menu, but yeah, you know, like I said, sometimes if you guys have any weird experiences, feel free to share them in the comments. I would love to hear them. Like, it doesn't have to be necessarily a ghost, but anything that's unexplainable that ever happened to you. I don't know, maybe you saw something weird, heard strange noises, and you're home alone, anything. But you don't have to necessarily consider, oh, it's a ghost, but just, like I said, anything unexplainable. Also, I need to tell you guys something my sister will check. Another kind of weird thing that happened. I have the video on my phone, I'm going to be putting it on TikTok, so make sure you... Go check it on TikTok if you want to see it, but one. Right. You were right. Mom said about eighty. Mm -hmm. I saw older. She's googling it right now, though. Um. Anyways, go on. Sorry. I had to share something I wanted to make. Oh, okay, sure. So also another weird thing that happened today, and I recorded it. And okay. I'm gonna be putting it on my TikTok. Um. My Alexa just started like lighting up this blue light. Okay. As if like someone talked to it, but I didn't talk to it because I only use it when Leanne's here to listen to music. And I recorded it on my phone. What is that? My Alexa. Okay. And it did the she blue light for a while. I recorded it. Still did it for a few seconds and it just went off. And Oof. No more spooky. My Alexa spooky. has done like weird stuff before. It would make weird noises. Like, yeah, you've said that since I got it for you. My, yeah. And I've ca captured a few in my few of my videos. So. Yeah, she's definitely, she's weird. mentioned that quite a few times it about is the Alexa weird. Again, it's going to be on my TikTok, so check it out if you want to see it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys could explain it. But no, it was just like, it was just blue lane, it was just like spinning. Yeah. And like I said, guys, I swear to God on everything, I do not use it. Only with my friends here to listen to music. Right. Because so. I usually listen to music on my phone. Right. Um, but anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see us react to, like, haunted TikTok. Since right. I know oh, other YouTubers yeah. have done that. I, you know, I've never done a reaction video. I yeah. do one with you. Yeah, so Could you do two people yeah. in a reaction So if video? you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments or know. anything else you want to let see. Let us know what kind of videos you want. Um, Just no porn, okay? We don't I love do you, Anna, so much. Well, we do, but you gotta pay for follow it. Follow me on my so and Bula's <laughs> OnlyFans. She has an OnlyFans. Yeah, an OnlyFans. Okay. Bitches! Follow no, me on my socials, guys. Follow Con and Seth. Gloria has a TikTok. Do what, I? Your TikTok? No what idea. You? Yeah, you're right. I'm you so watch TikToks. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Uh, she's watching TikTok. Do I have a TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, guys. That's real. This is her. That she's watching TikTok. Do I have a TikTok? It's at Gloria and. the camera. Oh, well, they're not going to see it. Oops. At Gloria and 08. Oh, there I am. Look at mm -hmm. that. Look I mean, at she hasn't posted anything yet. Looking like a snack. Too. Yeah, I just look at people's yeah, videos. But if you want to follow, follow me on TikTok, I yeah, post stuff on sure. there. And let us know what you guys want to see. Because yeah. really, we I actually enjoy doing these uh -huh, now I with like her. I like doing them too. Um, and a lot of times we just I, don't know. Yeah, right. enough times I don't even know what to film. So, so let yeah, me know. I love you, know. Randomers, so you much. Yeah. And I will see you, Randomers, in the next video. Yes. Peace, Peace out, cubby.